Hi, I'm Ed Wright. Today we're talking about this really cool test mower that we have, but before we do, let me tell you about how, why we're talking about it here with you today. So we have a group of Wright owners. We call it our Wolf Owners Group. And if you go to our website, you can sign up if you're a Wright owner. Um, if you're already signed up with our Wolf Group and not part of our Facebook group, go to our Facebook page and ping us, and we want you part of that group. We were talking about this machine there, and you know, there was a good conversation going, and that's why I'm now bringing it to you guys, because it seemed like it was an interesting thing. Um, but we'd love to get you involved in that Facebook group if you're a right owner. So what is this? This is a test mower. We got dually 12-inch uh, wide tires on a 72-inch deck, and we have a new engine on it. Um, so so why, why the duallys? Uh, everybody wants to cut a steeper slope, and everybody wants to do it safely. And that's the thing. So, you know, you could cut a slope with a mower and take some risks, um, or you can get up there with a trimmer and take a long, long time. So really, you want to manage those risks. And a lot of people bring some not machoism to the table there, and they want to say, hey, look at the slope I cut with my zero turn, and they did it with the ROPS up and no seat belt, and they, they put their life at risk, really. Um, so, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to say, send that message that, hey, you know, you want to get up on the steepest slope and put your life at risk. That's not at all what we're saying. We're saying that this machine gives you more stability, gives you a little more capability, but really, you have to be very, very careful when you make those choices, and it's really up to you. When you buy a car, they don't say, hey, this car safely corners at 45 miles an hour because you know, it could be snowing, it could be whatever. Conditions vary, and it's really up to the operator to make those judgments. You could have um, a shallow slope, and somebody just sprayed something on it. It's really, really slippery, and you got a drop off. Now, that, that's a really unsafe but the shallow uh, situation, but it's a shallow slope. You could have a slope that's a little steeper, and it's dry, it's sunny, you got a machine that's really suited for it, you have a lot of experience, and the slope is just gentle you know, at the bottom. Um, that's gonna be a situation where you can take on a little bit steeper slope. So you really have to be careful when you make those judgment calls, and don't put your life at risk. So we have a dually package, gives you a little more capability. Um, we're testing it. We don't know if we'll ever bring this to market because we have to prove that it's okay for the wheel motors and the frame and that kind of thing. Uh, here we have two 12s, which is outside the width of the 72 inch deck. That's not gonna work. We actually have another machine which has two 10 and a half tires, which is just perfect. You can get it on a trailer and all that. Um, I didn't think this would make a big difference at first, but um, once they got this set up and I took it out on a hill, you know, all the traction was there. It was amazing, just amazing. And then I thought, you know, in turning it would scuff really bad, but there's less ground pressure on the tires, and so it's actually not that bad. Uh, you, you definitely want to make a three-point turn, that kind of thing, but it's tolerable. You know, a machine like this, this is not for manicuring property. It's not the point here, um, but it, it does quite good. Coming around this side, we've actually made a few updates to this mower. We used to have a bucket here, now we have a bag, so you can stuff stuff in there. It doesn't blow out. Um, another thing to highlight is that we have these springs underneath the platform. If you have a ZK, and you bought it and all the springs are in there, um, and you're not that big of a guy, maybe you're about my size, you wanna take out you know, one, two of those springs, and that platform's gonna soften up and be really ideal for you. So if you didn't know that, check that out. This machine also has a weight underneath the platform that's lower than wheel weights or brine in the tires or something like that, and um, that really helps to hug the ground. We've added a oil filter or uh, pressure gauge here. So we're measuring the engine oil pressure as we get up on a slope. We want to make sure that we don't lose oil pressure because that would quickly damage the engine. I had it up on a really steep slope a little bit ago and I saw no loss of pressure. So, you know, I was surprised at how it was doing, uh, but something to keep an eye on there. <clears throat> now, the new engine. So, this is a Briggs Vanguard 37 horsepower EFI engine. This is top of the line. It's, it's a step up in price from our other engines that are offered on the Sander ZK, but boy, does it deliver. We've been really amazed at what this engine can do the torque, the power. Um, it's just, it's awesome. So this engine will be available um, early to mid this summer, so keep an eye out for it. If you're really serious about what you're doing and you really want that production, this will do it. It's amazing. The other thing is that as a 72, a lot of 72s are 15, 1600 pounds, that kind of thing. But a ZK, it's a lighter machine because it doesn't need all that extra stuff. And so more of that power is going to the deck. And it's, it, it really does well. We'll take it for a spin here in a second. Um, you know, somebody's going to ask what this is for. When we, when we have test mowers, we cut and recut the same grass and we build up a lot of chaff. So we manage that risk by keeping a fire extinguisher right on hand um, there. So let's take it for a spin. <laughs> 